Hi there, I'm Julie, and for those of you who don't know me, I am the founder of Flora and Fauna. And I have some very exciting news in that I am 35 weeks pregnant. Here we go. So we are expecting Bob in, in a few weeks, any time now really. And what I've noticed over the last eight months is that I've used a few different products to what I've used before at Flora and Fauna. Some are still my old favorites and some are new ones. So I wanted to give you my top 10 pregnancy picks. So what do we have? Now, first of all, two of my absolute favorites and must-haves during pregnancy have been these two. I have had horrific morning sickness, which unfortunately for me did not last three months, but it's still going at the eighth month, eight month mark. So my trusty bamboo toothbrush, this is a green and kind one with a little animal on it, and minty toothpaste. Now I've got EcoStore's new whitening toothpaste here, but I've also been using Grant's Fresh Mint toothpaste as well, and they've been brilliant at just keeping my mouth a little bit fresh during those uh, times of nausea. In addition to that, I've also been taking Love Tea's Morning Wellness Tea, which is formulated to really help with morning sickness and nausea, and it contains, um, well, it's certified organic. Love Tea's uh, an Australian brand. It's got peppermint, it's got cinnamon, it's got ginger in it, so things to really help you uh, with those the, the morning sickness. And what's great about Love Tea is that all of their packaging is compostable. So the box is compostable, plus also the cellulose wrapper inside it as well. So it's another favorite pick. Whilst we're on the drinking front, my very, very trusty water bottle has been really helpful. What I've noticed during pregnancy is that I've been quite dehydrated, so I've been drinking heaps of these. This is my Honua bottle. I've had this for ages, so it's a bit buffed and scratched and everything else. And it's got a really handy, well, lid that you can carry, with, carry it with and I've been doing quite a few walks and stuff like that, so that's been really helpful for me. Plus also a large mouth, which you can put ice cubes in, which is very handy in this hot weather. This is 750 mil, so it's a great size, or 731 mil, I think. It's a great size to be able to, be able to uh, get a decent amount of water in you. And something else that I've noticed is that your skin becomes quite sensitive when you're pregnant, so, and particularly with the fact that this is the middle of summer. At the moment, um, the sunscreen has been imperative. Now, it's, you need to use it anyway, normally, but I've been using I've been using it a lot more, actually. And I love Simple As That sunscreen. It's made in Australia, Melbourne brand. They don't contain any nasties, so they're zinc oxide based, and they're also reef friendly too, so no oxybenzone. And it has a gorgeous smell. It's also really great for your Show that there for your face and your body so it's it's not too heavy whereas some people think that zinc sunscreens are quite heavy this one really isn't so it doesn't leave that sort of white film really easy to sink in it smells beautiful so big fan of that one now other things that I have loved is this belly balm from the Physic Garden as my little bump is growing this has been brilliant at nourishing bump and also helping to prevent those dreaded stretch marks that uh, I haven't got yet, but may come in this last month. So this is a really great one. Again, Melbourne brand, uh, designed by uh, a naturopath and a really, really luxurious balm. All vegan and cruelty free, as is everything at Flora and Fauna. Other things I have loved is my magnesium stick. So something else I have noticed, one of the many other advantages of being pregnant is that um, moles and skin tags and other things seem to develop a life of their own. And this is really handy to put onto those to, to help treat them and minimize them too. So big fan of, the, of this magnesium stick by Amazing Oils. Now, if you have been pregnant, you may know what I'm about to talk about here. Big fan of Moddy Body and also Hannah Pads. And these have been particularly good during pregnancy, the later stages, plus also will be great post-pregnancy too. Um, 
yeah, your pelvic floor gets a bit of a smashing during pregnancy. So Moddy Body is period underwear, great for periods, but also great for um, just leaks in general. So great postpartum. Now we stop the vegan Moddy Body. So uh, and they're quite new and they've been working really well. And they come in two sizes. I think there's light, medium and heavy overnight. So really great. And I'm a huge fan of hammer pads. So these come in lots of different sizes from panty liner to super ultra overnight. And actually super ultra overnight is brilliant postpartum. And so these have been my friend. Along with those pelvic floor exercises, which they teach you in antenatal classes. So definitely go to those. Now other things, I think this is my last, my last pick. You can feel pretty um, grotty when you're pregnant at times. So there's nothing better than a great nail polish. And I love Sienna, uh, Sienna's polish. They're from a Byron Bay brand. This is part of their new Byron Bay range. And this one is Goddess. And I've been, I've been using this just to make me feel a little bit more human again. So they have some gorgeous colors in their range. So please do have a look. And these little, um, Timber lids are actually made from reclaimed wood. So I would love to hear all of your thoughts about other products you've loved during your pregnancy and even post-pregnancy too. So please feel free to, to comment and let us know.